If you're familiar with taking screenshots on an iPhone, you'll find that the same applies here. Simply hold down the home button and hit the power button. This will capture an image of whatever's on the screen. When you display the lock screen, you'll notice a picture icon in the lower right corner. Hitting it will present a slideshow, your iPad displaying every photo you have on it. While there are four apps preloaded in the dock, you can actually add up to six in it. Simply press and hold down any app and drag it to the dock. Just double tap the home button and press and hold on one app till they all start shaking on the screen. Tap the red circle in the running apps to close them. If you accidentally hit the home button when using an app, you can avoid shutting it down by continuing to hold down the home button. Do it long enough and your iPad will forget about closing the app you've loaded up. If you want to protect your data, you can after 10 failed passcode entry attempts. In settings in general, go to passcode lock and check erase data. Sometimes you want to work without any distractions and the side switch does just that. If you go into settings, general, you can set the switch to lock in either portrait or landscape mode. While the search engine is set to Google by default, you can change it to either Yahoo or Bing if you wish. In settings, go to Safari and then search engine. If there are other people using your iPad regularly and you want to limit the content that they can access, Go to General, then Restrictions, and enable them to select what apps can be accessed. If the numerical password isn't strong enough, you can make it more complex. In Settings, go to General, and then Password Lock, and turn off Simple Password. You'll then be prompted to enter your old and new password. If you write certain phrases regularly, you can create custom shortcuts to save time. In settings, go to general, then keyboard, and then add new shortcut. Here you can create your own shortcut phrases. If you turn multitasking gestures on in general settings, this will allow you to use four or five fingers to swipe left and right between apps, swipe up to reveal the multitasking bar, and pinch your way back to the home screen. If you want the search function in your iPad to be faster and more focused, you can set it so that only specific apps or details appear. Go to Settings, then General, and select Spotlight Search. Here, you can choose what appears the next time you search. In Google Maps, you may have noticed a dog-eared page icon on the lower right corner. Press it and it turns the traffic overlay on. You'll be able to see how quickly traffic is moving, green meaning it's going at a regular speed, and orange and red showing if it's going slower than expected. If you come across a word you don't understand, select it by touching and holding it, then tap Define or Dictionary. On the keyboard, swiping up the comma key quickly will insert an apostrophe, and swiping up the full stop key inserts a quotation mark. Also, holding down a key will bring up accented versions of that character. Pressing spacebar twice will do a full stop and then a space. Instead of going into the iPad's music player, you can immediately access it by double tapping the home button and swiping it to the right. You'll find a mini music player where you can play the current track as well as adjusting the volume and screen brightness.